Welcome to ARCHICAD Crash Course for Architects, Session 1, Introduction to ARCHICAD. This course is designed to help you with ARCHICAD and master its essential tools and features. By the end of the session, you will be able to navigate the ARCHICAD workspace, work with basic drawing and editing tools, and explore the different commands for your project. When you open ARCHICAD, the first thing that you'll see are thumbnails of your most recent projects. Above these thumbnails are three tabs, and each of these serve a specific purpose. For the Teamwork tab, it allows you to collaborate with others and share the changes within your network. The Browse tab lets you open a previous project while the new tab enables you to create an entirely new project. Under these are the tools for your file organization. You can search for your files through the search bar, or you can also organize your projects by grid size or sort them alphabetically from A to Z. Now to create a new project, click on the tab New Project. Here, you can see the different options for the templates. Choose a template that's appropriate for your project. For this project, we will just use a default template. Once you get that done, the first thing you'll see is your workspace with elevation markers. These markers automatically generate elevations for your project but you can choose to delete them if needed. On the right side of your screen, you'll see the project map and the view map. Both tabs contain similar information, such as story and elevations. The key difference, however, is that the project map provides viewpoints without layer settings or scale. While the view map includes these settings. As we progress in this course, you'll mainly use the View Map tab. You'll also find the Layout Book and Publisher Sets tab. This is where you could set up your sheets for finalizing projects. You can create your own layout or use an existing template. We'll cover more of these in the future lessons, where you could set up layouts and sheets for printing and exporting. On the left side of your screen, you'll find the basic tools for modeling your project. These are categorized into three parts, namely the design, viewpoint, and documentation. Under the design tab, you'll find the following tools.
As for the Viewpoint tab, you can find the following tools. And lastly, for the documentation tab, you can find the following tools. Dimension. Level dimension. Angle dimension Text Label Grid element Change marker Fill the shape tools, the hotspot tool. and the drawing tool.
the upper part of your workspace, another ribbon is present. These tools represent the different commands for your project. These are the undo command, find and select, Pick up parameters and inject parameters, which is useful for when you want to match all of the properties of your element without manually adjusting each of their parameters. We can also find the guidelines, which would either hide or show them in your workspace. These long lines can serve as a guide for straight lines. The same one goes for the tracker and grid snap. A tracker displays relative coordinates, while a grid snap allows precise graphic alignment of the elements at consistent lengths and distances. For trace reference, the controls in the top section of this palette affect the reference. These affect output as well as display. Next, the Element Snap tool, which allows precise positioning. The Area tool enables you to measure the area of enclosed spaces or irregular shapes within your drawing. For the Trim command, it removes the part of an element extending beyond its intersection point with another element or simply to cut out part of the element between two intersection points. The intersect tool is particularly helpful when you need to create precise connections or intersections between architectural elements. When two walls meet at a corner, you can adjust their junction type to create either a fillet or a chamfer effect. Above your workspace, there's a settings tab with layers and other options for element structure. For detailed adjustments, the settings dialog in ARCHICAD is essential. It is the central hub for customizing project settings, workspace preference, and software configurations. You can modify materials, change pen assignments, and apply changes easily. ARCHICAD's tabbar is a handy tool for swiftly accessing open views, layouts, schedules, and other project documents. It streamlines navigation between various views and documents, which aids multitasking and organization. Here's how to use and display the tabbar. By default, the tabbar appears at the top of the ARCHICAD window, which is right below the menu bar. If the tabbar isn't visible, you can activate it by navigating to the window menu and choosing Show Tab Bar. The ARCHICAD workspace shows some common basic tools. However, users can customize their workspace by adjusting tool palettes, menus, shortcuts, and some settings to suit their needs. And that concludes the first video of our ARCHICAD crash course. We've learned how to navigate the ARCHICAD workspace and explore its basic commands. See you in the next session.